Colorado Springs, Colorado from Goodwill. This one is well packed in all sorts of these guys. Um, I'm sure it's going to make a mess all over my apartment, but you know, price of art, right? Uh, it's not paint everywhere. It's not um, sawdust. Uh, it's not metal shavings. That would be worse. All right, so we have a, a regular 8 camera here. It's a custom Electra magazine automatic 8. It's got a, a tri turret. Um, see that there? Now, um, regular 8 was is older than Super 8, so these things go back even further. Now this one is uh, really interesting because this has a um, <clears throat> this one has a cartridge. <clears throat> now this isn't Super 8, and this isn't uh, this isn't regular 8 either. This is like a or or 8 millimeter reversal, um, which I've seen empty spools of. This is something this is something really special. You, I don't think they made these for very long. Um, I'm going to do some research and figure out when these, uh, what the production years were for these because we can better date this actual camera here. But it is really neat how it just kind of like, um, it snaps in here uh, very similar to like a cassette tape um, and it's about the same size. So this is pretty cool. I'm excited to see what's on this because generally these cameras are a little bit older than the Super 8 cameras. Um, so the footage inside, if there is any, might also be older. Now, one of the things that I um, didn't do as well as I could have found in Kitsap is really track where the cameras came from and where I found them. So with these, I'm going to endeavor to um, really track the location where I found it, the date which I purchased it, and then the footage that came off of it. So we can kind of start assembling a map around the U.S. of all these found cameras and the, um, the locations and stuff where they're from. So next up. We've got a box from Astoria, New York. Astoria, New York, the home of the uh, St. George Prep School, which is famous for the 1937 prep school riots, where a, a group of um, underclassmen actually rebelled against the Salisbury steak they were being served and uh, almost burnt down the entire town. And that is 100% not true. I just made it up, but yeah, sounds good. Uh, all right, this is, wow, they gave me a uh, printout and everything of my order. That's cool. Fun fact, you can take your extra bubble wrap to um, local, you know, uh, mailboxes, et cetera, type places, little uh, independent shipping places, and uh, they'll take them and reuse it. So you don't have to throw it away anymore. I mean, you never had to throw it away. You could have always done that. But if you didn't know that, now you don't have to throw it away. This is a Bauer uh, C2M Super. It's got a kind of a leather... Um, Cushy outside here, uh, some wiring sticking out there. Probably it had a handle at one point that was there, and uh, that's these probably led to the trigger mechanism. It's got a lens hood. Um, that's sweet. All right, well, let's open her up here. Uh, and this one does not have a roll of film in it. Um, I am. Probably 100% certain that this one in particular did have a roll of film in it um, when I bit on it. Uh, there's nothing else in the box, so um, maybe I'll shoot him an email and ask him about that um, because I don't have any need for a camera. 
kind of looks cool, but the whole point of this is to find film that people shot. So if there's not actually the film in it, it's kind of a waste of 30 bucks. Uh, Ol Olwen? Owen, Owen, Iowa. O E L W E I N. Kind of looks like Orwellian, but just missing a few letters. Oh, packing peanuts. There's lots of packing peanuts. This is fun. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. We have a Vivitar 98P. Now, this one uh, I'm already a little bit more excited about because uh, right there you can see through the little window. See the orange? There it is. This is a roll of Kodak. Ectochrome 160 movie film. My first uh, Super 8 cartridge from this exploration. From Iowa. Now, you know, interestingly enough, like the, the stuff I found for Fountain Kitsap, um, even though it was from Kitsap County, Bremerton, Silverdale, Paulsbo. Uh, the photos were obviously from all over. There was photos from Mexico, there was probably some photos from Europe, photos from California, photos from other vacations. So while this camera may have been sold by a thrift store in Iowa, um, there's really no way of knowing where the footage was from. If they have a landmark or something in there, then maybe we can date it or we can locate it by that. Uh, so. I swear this was 100% not staged, but the uh, mailman just brought me a box. <laughs> Great timing. All right, let's take a look at this very fortuitously delivered package. It's so far the heaviest one that I've gotten. Um, it's from Roanoke, Virginia. Now, I have to confess, there was a couple cameras I bought that just looked cool. This might be one of them. Maybe I shouldn't confess that. I don't know. Again, I, I don't really know how to do these unboxing things. Okay. This is a saran wrapped um, leather jobber. All right. Ah, uh, yes. This is this is one that I bought because it looked cool. So this is a. Bolex. Um, it's marked as MP Vogel MD. So I'm guessing that was probably the owner's name. Bolexes were the first cameras that I shot on, film cameras I shot on at film school at San Francisco State. So they have kind of like a, um, a very uh, nostalgic uh, turn for me. Oh wow, this is this is a gorgeous little camera. It's a uh, Bullock's uh, rail nard. It's got um, a twin twin turret. Um, the the action on these cameras is like it's very it's very fine. They're very well machined. You can really feel them clicking around. Oh my gosh. Oh, it has a roll. It has film in it too. It has film in it. That's amazing. So this is reversal eight. So whenever there's two um, in here, that means that uh, one of them has film on it because you would rewind one of them and send it into the lab, and you would keep the other one. So this is wow. This is this is something. This is one. This is a gorgeous camera that I'm going to be happy to display on my shelf. And uh, two, it has film in it. Plus, it came in this great leather. Case, satchel, covering, and I know the guy's name. How cool is that? All right, I have one more box today, so let's uh, let's crack that one open and then 
that'll be it for the first uh, edition of Found in America Live Unboxing. <clears throat> This one is from Salinas, California. This one is in a case. It has a, um, like a camera bag. All right, we have Bell and Howell. Bell and Howell made a lot of um, Super 8 cameras, regular cameras. I see them a lot online. Uh, they don't look like they look like very like consumer level, like hobbyist cameras, as opposed to like the Bolex, which would be um, more high end or even like Canon. Um, uh, we have the actual Bell and Howell Director Series camera, um, which uh, again, regular eight with a roll of film in it. Um, so that's cool. So this has something in it. Um, what else is in here? A uh, mini screwdriver. Handy. Um, we have a uh, uh, a Kodak tin which is sealed with tape. Now this might be for um, the return on that. I don't hear anything shaking in it, so I'm guessing it's empty. Um, this would be something that I would uh, open up in my changing bag. I have an all black stack that's light tight. So I'll be unloading these um, and re-spooling them and putting them in. Like a, I don't know, I kind of want to keep this, but um, I think that's what this is for. Uh, initially. This might be the tab for the film that's inside of it. Let's see if we can get this thing to expose correctly on it. So Kodachrome 25 daylight double roll cameras. So this could be a um, way of dating it by knowing what the stock is. And then also this has uh, two rolls of processed film. Um, Kodachrome, Koda Ektachrome. There's some printouts on it. It doesn't say, there's no date, but there is a name. Donna Buski, Donna Donna Buski. Again, let's see if I can get this thing to expose a little better. Yeah, so there you go. Um, I'll have to get these uh, transferred um, at some point. So, all right, uh, that's it. That's all the uh, cameras and boxes I've got right now. Um, you enjoyed that as much as I did. It's fun getting the shipment while we were doing it. So, um, yeah, until next time, be well.